Hey, Nico's back. After a long time away. Long story. That will come another time. Today we are back with Easy OS 2.5. Now, the difference here is, I've not just downloaded a new ISO. No, no, no. I've just updated it from within Easy OS. And every time I've done it, it's been super fine. So, so far I've done it five times. And so I get all the updates, it re-images everything, and does everything it needs to do. Super duper. And I'll show you how you do that really quickly before we do anything else. And I'll probably show you some stuff you really all know about it, because really it's a puppy-based, it's not puppy-based, but it's a puppy look-alike. Okay. It's made by Barry Cowler. This is his experimental thing that he's doing. Okay. So if we have an update, as you can see, welcome to the script. Blinky, 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 blah, 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 blah. This bit, I like the blue one. Press enter to continue. So we click it. As you can see, I've already done it. So we've got 2.5. Now, if you didn't have 2.5, you get two options. You can either download it and do it yourself, or just let the system do it. Yeah, so just let the system do it. It works super fine. Okay. So if you watched my last EasyOS video, you probably it's not actually changed too much. I haven't even changed the wallpaper. I've just been... Well, I'll be honest with you, I ain't done much of it. But I've been playing around since the back monster went. So I had an operation on my back about three, four weeks ago. And it was hunky-dory, so that's super duper. So I'm just going to show you some things about EasyOS. Now, these things here, the lock-on, are containerized. Okay, So everything is in a container. It can't get out. And that's one of the things we would like about this bit. So, before I go any further, the next one I'll show you on EasyOS, I will change the backgrounds, okay? This is quite a boring one, isn't it? So because the top right-hand side, we have lock screen, zip, so zip your files, and trash. Usual puppy thing here. I'm sure I changed them last time. You know what? We're going to change them in a minute, okay? So anyway, these are containerized, and these ain't. Then you can either go to the menu like this, or you can right-click, and do it that way. So on the desktop, as you can see, it's very familiar if you've been used to Puppy Linux over the years. Really, really simple and easy to use. Look, I don't like key wallpaper background image chooser though. I just don't. I'll open it for you. I fear change. Anyway, set the global font size, all the stuff you would do in Puppy Linux. So I'm not going to hang on that too much. I don't make the video too long. Go to System, Boot Manage Config, IP Info, Hardware Information, Perhaps it's Info Information, blah, 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 blah. Configure your CPU if you want to run really hard. I'll, I'll click on HTOP for you. There you go. Look, not doing nothing. But it is using 983.81 meg. Say about 950 meg, okay? For the simple reason, I'm recording at the same time on EasyOS. And yes, we're using ALSA for it. I know. Result. Oh, I can't believe it. Get to set up, check your dependencies, pet get. I'll come back to that in a minute. You can get the NVIDIA drivers, and I have done before, but I got rid of them because the open source ones, if you're just going to use this for media streaming and watching YouTube and stuff like that, they were actually better than the NVIDIA drivers. Yeah, and I, I can't believe it either. You get multiple send cards, yeah, blah, 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 blah. All puppy based, yeah. EasyOS installer. Well, if you want to install it to a hard drive, entirely up to you. But I just use it from a stick. DD front end, grab for DOS bootloader, remaster your Easy Links OS. So that might appeal to some of you. I mean, boot in packages, okay. Utilities! We love a bit of utilities, don't we? Yeah, we like a bit. Easy apps launch favourite applications. We're going to do that anyway, but you're going to know what it is. Go, go. Calculator, calendar, blah, de, blah. Document. A book reader comes with a book reader, so you can read online books. That's super. So, say you've got a, an older laptop, and I have quite a few here. I'll probably chuck this on there. Just the basic stuff, you know. It's really easy. Graphic. A bitmap editor. Image viewer. Paint program. Presentation. Screenshot, which I've done several of tonight, actually, on the uh, you know, Twitterverse. And under Internet, we have browsers, download, email, file transfer. There's nothing that you could want isn't already installed. Yes, I have installed certain things myself, but that's just for my taste. Mixer, player, 
audio recorder, it's all here for you. Under personal, calendar, diddy wiki, diddy 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 wiki, 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 and utilities, the usual again. But sometimes they do repeat themselves, and under my apps, you can set your favourite apps that you want to do. Easy app's been around for quite a long while now, and uh, at the time when it was first here, it was quite a good idea, but I'm not sure if it's usable now, to be really honest. For me, maybe different for you. Under graphics, I think I had to get GIMP, actually. Yeah, MT Paint is here. Inkscape. Let's open Inkscape, see what happens. It should be okay. Oh, look at that. Super duper. That was really quick, actually. I wasn't expecting that. Under graphics again. GIMP will take a long time, so we're going to. No, we won't open GIMP. Simple Wallpaper Maker. Oh, let's open that. Make your own wallpapers. What more could you think about? Super. We'll go down to Documents. We can start LibreOffice. So we'll just start. Go to the Start Center. See what happens. It should be super duper. Mm. And as you see there, I've got a file that is secret. Mm. But we won't worry about that now. We'll just go to our writer document. There you go. Opens up instantaneously. It's USB. Into a USB 3 socket, of course. Why wouldn't it work? We'll go down a bit further. Under business, database, spreadsheets, blah, 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 blah. Load of calculators, as Puppy always did and does now. Osmo Organizer, I'm not using it on here because this is just a test stick for me. I'm just going to keep updating it and updating it and see what happens. But we do have Secret. Hey, you remember Bcrypt? And that got said, um, you know, we used to encrypt our files. Well, now it's Secret. So that file I've got, if I remember I'll put it, there it is. I can drag that cryptic file over and put it in there and I enter the password if I remember it which I do actually so we'll go it's a really easy one that should do it we click OK and we click OK again and now it's decrypted so you can encrypt some messages if you want to or some files if you really want to do and I really like the option and all I did was this, if I click on it, oh, it's going to double open now, look. I keep forgetting the single click all the time. And it's called, this is a file. This is a file. So here's that bit. Anyway, moving on. Network. Set up your firewall. I've already done mine. Loop up Bluetooth management. That's a new one. That's quite a good one, actually, if you want to use Bluetooth. Super duper. Just set up the send. No worries. Internet. You get CMonkey as standard, and you can get Chromium from Pet Get or the SFS Get. It's entirely up to you what you want to do, okay? But also here you get Dropbox GUI, Axel Download Accelerator, a Podcast Grabber, Download YouTube, I'm not sure if that works anymore, GVNC Viewer for actually doing your Raspberry Pis, I can add some here from here. Under Multimedia, as you can see, I'm using Simple Screen Recorder to do this video. But also you get the GNOME MPV multiplayer. There's loads more you can get. Trust me, trust me. There's loads more you can get. Alsa Mixer's here, of course, because we're using Alsa Mixer to actually do this video. Double F Convert Multimedia Converter. What a god. If you've never used it before, go and give it a try. Under fun, we'll just get a couple here. We don't need too much, because the ISO is not too big, really. It's quite a small one. So if I go to Petcad... And we click on pick it. One click, of course, it's puppy. It's the usual installer. That's completely updated here, okay? And you can just choose whatever you want to type in. Now, let's say you want Spotify. Spotify is not going to be here. But you can install Snap and SnapD if you really wanted to. But I've just used a web player to be really honest with you. Shall I show you? Okay. So if we open crew my arm up and I go to Spotify, when it opens up, it'll take a little time. So I'll type in Spotify. Yeah, just like that. There we go. Spotify web player. There we go. I'm not doing so. If I go and log in, if I remember my password. No, I'm not going to log in. No, no, no. Because you'll see everything. And I can't be bothered to edit it all that out. Okay. But all you do is enter your stuff and you'll get a web player. Okay. You don't actually need the client, to be really honest with you. Now, at the moment, there's some stuff that won't run for me on EasyOS, which is Zoom. The Zoom client won't run correctly for me. 
that may be my end. I don't think so, but hey, we'll see. Barry's updating it all the time, so I'm not really too worried, to be honest with you. Uh, Microsoft Teams works perfectly right. Google Classroom, remember I do teaching, so I need all this sort of stuff. It all works super fine. As for, the, oh, this is one of the great ones. <sighs> Leaving it to the GL drivers. Okay, so I think it's open YouTuber. Leaving it to the YouTube, the GL drivers was a better experience watching videos than having the NVIDIA driver. Uh, if I just type me in, so just in case, I shouldn't read this, I should go to bed now. I know, put this on. If I put on a bit of a ramble, so that's the last one I've done actually, because I've been so busy. You probably can't hear that, yeah? Just in case you can, I'm going to turn that right down so you can't hear it. We get the usual adverts. Pain in the posterior, of course. Okay, there we go. So here comes the video. And it's actually clearer. So much clearer. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Also here, as you can see, we're using Chromium. There's no cookies, but get in the settings. That's super duper. Obviously, if you want to put other stuff in there, it's entirely up to you. We get the usual setup, edit and console, which is terminal for the rest of you. And it's all there for you. All on the stick. It's a tiny download. Go give it a try. Install what you want and there you go. To be honest with you, I've used it for about three days just for YouTube browsing, to be honest with you, because the images are so much better. Yeah, I know. Can't believe it. How's that work? Sneaky pinky. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.